G'day guys, in this video I'm going to be deriving for you the formula used for the projection vector. So let's begin by drawing two very generic looking vectors which I will call A and B. Let's draw A in this direction like this, and let's draw B in this direction like this. So we've got two very generic looking vectors. Now my question to you is, how much of A is in the direction of B? In other words, what is the projection of A onto B? Well, to find this answer, let's construct a right angle triangle like this. And let's draw a vector which is parallel to B, but only goes up to here. So this vector which I'm drawing in pink is going to be the projection of A onto B. And I'm going to call this vector, vector U, like this. So if we find this vector, we found our projection of A onto B. But how do we find our vector U? Well, all we need to do is find two useful pieces of information. We need to find its length, in other words, the magnitude of u, and we also need to find its direction, in other words, the unit vector of u. And if we plug those two pieces of information together, we found our projection. So let's begin by finding the magnitude of u. Well, because what we've constructed here is a right angle triangle, if we were able to find this angle theta, then we can use cosine theta to help us out. We know that cosine theta is going to be equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, so this is going to be equal to the magnitude of u divided by the magnitude of a. In other words, it's going to be this distance divided by this distance, right? But how do we find cosine theta? Well, we can use a result I've proven in a previous video. We know that we can find cosine theta by using the angle between two vectors, a and b. By applying that formula, we can tell cosine theta is going to be equal to a dot b, so that's the dot product just there, divided by the magnitude of a times by the magnitude of b. That's a formula I've proven in a previous video, and we can substitute this into here to solve for the magnitude of u. We know that this is going to be the a dot b divided by the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b is going to be equal to the magnitude of u divided by the magnitude of a. And already we can see some cancellation, which is quite nice. We can cross these off just here like that, leaving us with our result that the magnitude of u must be equal to a dot b divided by the magnitude of b. So, so far we found the length of our vector, but we still need to know the direction it's in so that we can find the projection vector entirely. Now, in order to do this, we need to realize that the that this vector u is parallel to the vector b. So that means they share the same unit vector. Let me describe to you what I mean. This right here is the unit vector of b. It has a magnitude of 1, right? So the unit vector of b, the unit vector of b has a magnitude of 1, and it's got to be 1 divided by the magnitude of its length times by the vector itself. This is the formula for a unit vector, right? And because u is in the direction of b, that means this is also going to be equal to the unit vector of u, right? They're shared. So this is another formula we can use here. Now if we plug in both of these pieces of information into here, we've got our formula for our projection. We know that our projection vector u is going to be equal to a dot b divided by the magnitude of b times by, times by 1 over the magnitude of b times by the vector b itself. Now if we group these things together, we can write this as a dot b divided by the magnitude of b squared times by the vector b. So this right here is going to be our projection of a onto b. We found it. We found the projection. But before I end this video, I just want to describe that a lot of the time mathematicians don't actually write this vector as u. They write it as proj, so short for projection of a onto b. This is the formal mathematical way of writing it. So this right here is our answer just here. We found the projection of a onto b. Now you could actually um, derive, going through the same process, you could derive the projection of b onto a, or you can simply use the symmetry of the situation to show that the projection, the projection of b onto a would be very similar. It would just be a dot b divided by the magnitude of a squared times by the vector a. You can undergo the exact same process to show that this is true or use the symmetry of the situation just there. I hope that made sense, guys. This is the projection vector 
formally derived. Cheers.